Welcome back, everybody. I'm still here in Wiley, Texas, deep in the heart of Texas. We're having a great time with Josh Hunt and family. And today, Josh has a special surprise for me. He's going to show me how to make chicken fried steaks. Let's do it. Let's give it a try. Some red new potatoes here that I gently oiled uh, with some extra virgin olive oil. And we're gonna throw on some of Blackstone's Steakhouse seasoning. Get these things all seasoned. Tell me when. That's good. Toss those up. And we're gonna throw them in the air fryer and let them start to soften up. Go for like a medium high. All right, Josh picked up these beautiful cubed round steaks. Josh, if somebody didn't have cubed, pre-cubed round steaks, could they just tenderize a normal steak? Absolutely, any thin cut of meat, get that tenderizer going on it. So the process here is we've got a dredge here, which is actually a pre-seasoned dredge from Meat Church. It's their chicken fried breading. It's already got seasoning in there. We'll dredge the uh, steaks in the, in, the, in the flour. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a, uh, a wet, uh, dredge over here. We're gonna add some buttermilk here. No exact measurements here. Just gonna, enough that we're gonna be able to cover these steaks up. And so we're gonna go ahead and whisk that together. To make our gravy, I've got some melted butter here and this is just melted from sitting out here in the Texas sun for just a little bit. Um, so I've got about mm, two tablespoons of butter and to that I'm gonna add some all-purpose flour. And what we're gonna do is end up making a roux with this. To make our gravy, we've got the uh, flour and the butter mixture going already. We're gonna add, add some heavy whipping cream and just continue to stir. I'm gonna go with a little bit of Meat Church Holy Cow. It's got a lot of uh, black pepper, a little paprika, and some salt. It's gonna help bring out some of those flavors. Give us a cool color. Yeah, it's starting to thicken up just a little bit. It's gonna take it a little while longer. I'm just gonna continue to whisk it, make sure it's not burning. So we're looking for right up about 325 to 350, so this is perfect. We're gonna get some some perfectly cooked fried steaks out of this. Steak number one. You pat it down at yeah, all? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Get, so make sure you get, get completely covered. Yeah. Okay. Then I'll pick it up. Whoops. Shake it off. Hand it over to Josh. Yeah. Just gonna get make sure both sides are coated. And we're going back into there we the go drip. back this in it's gonna get nice and messy yeah this is you gotta have this though i mean oh, Mike, this is the flavor here and this is the fried in the chicken fried steak what do you think is that good yeah all so right flip it over one more time all right we're going double we're in texas baby we got to do double flip Keep checking those potatoes and see where we're at there. Starting to get a little bit of color on those. So we're gonna check on our gravy and it, I can tell right now it's thickening up perfectly. We've been coming by and stirring it every couple minutes. We're gonna add a little bit of black pepper to this. To get that nice black pepper. All right, I think we're ready to pull that first one. It's getting nice and golden brown. We're gonna throw it in here with some butcher paper to help get some of that oil off. And this one will be ready here in just a minute. We're gonna go ahead and pull the gravy. It's thickened up just where we want it. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the potatoes. Uh, they've gotten nice and soft. Uh, I checked them with a fork. And we're gonna go ahead and throw them up here on the griddle top. I'm gonna put down some extra virgin olive oil. And so what we're looking for here is we're gonna try to turn these into kind of a, a thick mashed potato. I'm gonna use the press and sear burger tool, the same one we use for smash burgers, and go ahead and smash these potatoes over here. Now 
So we smashed these potatoes and they're ready to go. Uh, they're getting a little bit of a crispness to them. We're gonna pull them off, throw a little bit of butter on there. Family style here. With the potatoes right in the middle. Go ahead and throw our steaks on either side. Butter in with those potatoes. Give that a little bit of a mix. So we're gonna go ahead and ladle on some of our cream gravy that we've made onto our potatoes and our steaks. And we have to give a shout out to our daughter, Hannah here. My daughter, no, no, Hannah. Hannah said we need to put something green on top like onion or parsley, so Hannah, here we go. All right, we got you some chopped. Yep, cho some chopped parsley here. It definitely has the eye for food photography. So we're just going to sprinkle a little bit of that on top. Just give a little bit of color contrast. This is where the magic happens, right here. This is an actual Josh Hunt food photography session going on. Most people will never get this behind the scenes view here. And with that, I'm going to say, take. A look at that. Josh, I think it's time to give it a try. Oh my goodness, it is looking delicious. And I love this potato idea, Josh. Uh, immediately when you did it, when you put them in the air fryer and crisp them up, you smashed them on the griddle, it reminded me of the old fashioned twice, twice baked potato. I mean, I think that's the griddle version of a twice baked potato. It's amazing. How'd you come up with that idea? Uh, just on the fly. I'm trying to think of a way of doing, I love mashed potatoes with, with uh, chicken fried steak, so just a way of doing it on the uh, griddle top. Absolute prime example on how you can use a Blackstone griddle and really kick it up and change it up because there are certain people I meet, I meet them on the road or I meet them online and they think griddle, they only think eggs, bacon, pancakes. That is it. They see me, they see me making stir fry, their minds are blown. I see Josh making a homemade chicken fried steak with these, I'm calling them twice baked potatoes on the griddle. Amazing. It blows my mind and you can do all this. Oh, a Blackstone griddle, baby. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's the first time I've ever made chicken fried steak. I've, I've done fried chicken. I've done uh, other things, but this is the first time with the chicken fried steak. And I thought I knew him. Josh was the winner of the 2020 Great Griddle Off. He won the golden spatula. Now, I'm not going to say he's arrogant or anything, but look at this. So now, like, everything's gold. <laughs> everything's gold-plated in his house. The guy's got gold teeth. He's got a gold car. It's out of control. Gold. But, you know, you win the Great Griddle Off, and, you know, that's what happens. So until next time, everybody, this is Todd and Josh from Wiley, Texas, deep in the heart of Texas. We're saying praise the Lord and pass the... Chicken fried steak. Chicken fried steak.